We are now recording and live streaming. So let me say again, welcome to all of those who are joining us online, whether you're joining us live on Zoom or after the fact on Facebook or YouTube, it is good to have you with us. We encourage you to like, subscribe, review, all of those things help others find so us, us. Um, and be able to we hear it, the love of God. Like, subscribe, review, all of those things help others find so us um, and be able to There we go. Could hear an echo of myself there for a second. I think that we are ready to go. I just want to say to those of you who are joining us on site, if you ordered t-shirts and not, have not yet picked them up, the bright yellow ones, they are on the conference table in the office. You are welcome to go grab those. And for everybody, let us prepare our hearts and minds for worship by listening to our prelude. Please stand as you are able. In the name of the triune God who loves us into being, calls us into community, and inspires us to love. Amen. Confronted by the law and called to life in the gospel, let us confess our sin before God and one another.
God of love and community, we confess that we have not loved as God has loved us. We look to ourselves to fulfill your law. We seek to satisfy our own desires. We turn away from our neighbors and live for ourselves alone. Teach us again your statutes and help us to love your will that in and through us, your beloved community is made known. Beloved of God, love is the fulfillment of the law and in Jesus, God's love for you is made known. Through Jesus, your sins are forgiven and you are drawn into God's love and life. Live fully, knowing that God loves you. Amen. Amen. Let us sing together our gathering song, which comes from the hymnal This Far by Faith. It is entitled, When Israel Was in Egypt's Land. land let my people go oppressed so hard they could not stand let my people go go down Moses way down in Egypt's land tell old Pharaoh let my people go the Lord told Moses what to grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. O Lord God, enliven and preserve your church with your perpetual mercy. Without your help, we mortals would, will fail. Remove far from us everything that is harmful, 
and lead us toward all that gives life and salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. You may be seated for our readings. A reading from Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, this month shall mark for you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year for you. Tell the whole congregation of Israel that on the 10th of this month, they are to take a lamb for each family, a lamb for each household. If a household is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join its closest neighbor in obtaining one. The lamb shall be divided in proportions to the number of people who will eat it. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a year old male. You may take it from the sheep or from the goat. You shall keep it until the 14th day of the month. Then the whole assembly congregation of Israel shall slaughter it at twilight. They shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and <clears throat> the <clears throat> lentil of the houses in which they eat it. They shall eat the lamb that same night. They shall eat it roasted over the fire and unleavened bread and bitter herbs. Do not eat any of it raw or boiled in water, but roasted over the fire with its head, legs, and inner organs. You shall let none of it remain until the morning. Anything that remains until the morning you shall burn. This is how you shall eat it, your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it hurriedly. It is the Passover of the Lord, for I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, both human beings and animals. On all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you, on the houses where you live. When I see the blood, I will pass over you and no plague shall destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. This day shall be a day of remembrance for you. You shall celebrate it as a festival to the Lord. Throughout your generations, you shall observe it as a per perpetual ordinance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us sing Psalms 149 responsibly by verse, as translated in the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal. Hallelujah, sing to the Lord a new song. God's praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in their Maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their ruler. Let them praise their Maker's name with dancing. Let them sing praise with tambourine and harp. Wait for the Lord takes pleasure in the people and adorns the poor with victory. Let the faithful rejoice in triumph. Let them sing for joy on their beds. Let the praises of God be in their throat and a two-edged sword in their hand to wreak vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples to bind their kings in chains and their nobles with links of iron. This is the glory of the Lord, hallelujah. Please stand as you are able for the singing of the gospel acclamation. The 
Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, if another member of the church sins against you, go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If the member listens to you, you have regained that one. If the but if you are not listened to, take one or two others along with you, so that every word may be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If the member refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly, I tell you, Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. I invite you to be seated. And our students of every age, um, young at heart, youth, children, all to come up. And if you brought your backpacks, you are welcome to bring them forward. You okay? Hunter, is that Grogu on there? I got, I see some more little ones. Hey, come on. Okay, I want everybody to get their thumbs ready. How are you doing? Thumbs up, thumbs down, one of each, sideways. How are we doing? I'm seeing some thumbs up, some thumbs sideways. Do you guys have words for how you're feeling? You don't like middle school. That was gonna be my next question. <laughs> everybody started school, right? This year, we're all kind of starting at different times. It's very strange for me in Tidewater that not every city's public schools started the same day. I'll get used to it though. But everybody I think has started now. So how did that first week or so go? Thumbs up, thumbs down, one of each sideways. Some thumbs up, but some thumbs down too. I'm sorry. That's tough when people say things that aren't true about you, huh? And won't we'll just leave you alone so you can learn, right? Yeah, you guys had good weeks? Yeah? Awesome. Anybody else want to share about their first week or so of school? What do you want to share? Um, so, like, so I got this, like, with my crystal ball. Oh, you're too big for that. How many punches? You're too big to sit in it. Wow. One more, and then you return that card, and what do you get? Nice. That's so cool. Anybody else want to share about their, their first week or so of school? Yes. We're not going to call on other people. We don't volunteer. So starting a new school year can be rough. It can also be exciting, right? And everywhere in between. But I want you to know always, but especially as you, as we start a new school year, that God is always with you. So I want, I mean, today we're going to say a blessing over your backpacks and give you a little tag that you can put on it if you want. 
and it opens up so you can put your name or what other whatever else you want inside but can you guys read that what does it say be loved be kind be you know that you are loved by god and by all of us and that hopefully we hope that that empowers you to be you and to be kind always when you're at school at your way to school and when you come home so i am going to can you help me hand these out one to each each kid yeah yeah can you help me hand them out make sure everybody gets one for their backpack Ethan needs one too, and Caleb needs to keep one for himself. You want to keep that one for yourself? I think, I think Ethan needs one. Do you want to give one to Caleb? Awesome. And if there's anybody else that wasn't able to make it in person today, we've got extras if you want to attach the blessing to all of the backpacks that are here or not here. That's great. You can put it wherever you find helpful. So along with the backpack tag, I also want to share a blessing with you. And a blessing is something that you can receive. So you, so, uh, you can open your hands like you're ready to receive a special gift. I'm just going to speak words, but you can uh, pretend that your hands and your heart are being filled with this blessing, okay? So as I speak, imagine the words dancing, floating, fluttering around you and watch as they land on your hands and on your backpacks. And if you want to receive it, take the blessing and put it in your heart. May the tags remind you that God is always with you as you sit and as you stand, as you learn and as you play in every fear and every celebration on the two thumbs up weeks and the two thumbs down weeks and everything in between. You may know that God, your friend, is always with you. So let's get ready to receive this blessing. Right? God of fresh starts and new beginnings, we bring ourselves, our big feelings, and our backpacks to you. In our backpacks, we carry blank pages, sharpened pencils, pencils and pointy crayons. And in our hearts, we carry big feelings, unanswered questions, and hopeful expectations. There are endless possibilities of what this year, new year might bring, of what we might learn and who we might meet and who we might become. God, our friend who is always with us, be with us through it all. Be with us as we ride the bus, be with us as we walk, be with us as we buckle seat belts, zip up jackets and tie shoes. However we get there and whatever we wear, bless this journey into something new. And for all the grown-ups going back to school, be with us, God. Be with them, too. Thank you for our teachers, helpers, caregivers, and leaders, and for all that they do to help us learn and grow. God, our friend, who's full of wonders, fill our hearts and bless their hands. Amen. Thanks for coming up, y'all, and I hope that you can remember that blessing and it stays with you and fills your heart throughout the school year. Thanks for coming up. Let us pray together. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. This morning we read from Exodus chapter 12 and in it we heard God institute the festival of Passover. 
And I find it interesting to note that before the first occurrence of the Passover ritual festival meal ever happens, God is sure to include an instruction that this day shall be a day of remembrance for you. You shall celebrate it as a festival of the Lord throughout your generations. You shall observe it as a perpetual ordinance. They haven't even done it once. And God says, don't forget to do it every year. Some we Lutherans, you know, you do anything twice and it's a tradition, right? But they haven't even done it once. And God says, this is a really important tradition. This verse of setting it up as a perpetual ordinance functions as a big flashing sign, an alarm bell from God. And if you haven't guessed yet, it alerts you to the fact that this is going to be a really big deal. And so it might be good if you paid close attention to how this ritual is lived out and how you are to commemorate it going forward. As the name of this festival suggests, uh, this meal that is prepared and shared in a very particular way on a very particular night happens on the night when the final plague, that is the death of the firstborn occurs and the name Passover, uh, uh, Pesach in Hebrew, alludes to the passing over, the sparing, of the firstborn of the Hebrews, while the firstborn of the Egyptians, both human and not, die, right? So there's this pass over the houses, but also pass over in the sense of sparing. But there's so much more going on in this ritual. God is preparing God's people for what is to come. It's not just about the plague and surviving the plague. But God makes sure in the midst of this festival to fill the people of God's bellies because they're about to go on a journey and they're going to need their strength. In the midst of the festival, God also instructs them to be dressed and in a certain way and ready to go with a sense of urgency, eat it quickly, make sure you fill your belly, but this is not a sit around for hours enjoying each other's company kind of holiday meal. There's a sense of urgency and preparedness that goes along with it. And in the midst of commemorating this festival, God also forces them into community. God encourages them to work together and in, to include households of every size and every means. There are instructions. If your household is not big enough for your own lamb, then get together with somebody else. If your neighbor is not able to find an unblemished animal, invite them over. But also, if you can't afford an unblemished lamb, Sheep or goats are just fine too, right? There's this breaking open, this inclusiveness to the instructions that God gives. And that also God says for them all to come together to slaughter together, right? Over and over again, God forces them into community because we know in hindsight that that's gonna be really important for this journey as well full bellies, a sense of urgency, and each other to lean on. Because Passover is not an individual act of piety, a box to be checked off on the yearly to-do list of faith and religion. It is a time for the people of God to come together and declare something about who they are and who God is. God invites them into and empowers them to do God's work, the work of provision and community and relationship building, to do that work with their own hands. And so it's all too fitting that this is the festival 
which the disciples and Jesus are celebrating on the night of Jesus' arrest. It is a commemoration of this Passover meal that the people of God have continued to remember year after year. They gather together to have their bellies filled, to be joined together with a sense of urgency and sent out that know, knowing that God is with them. That's what Jesus and the disciples are doing during what we now call the Last Supper. When Jesus takes the bread and cup, calls them his body and blood, and then passes them out. The Gospel of John makes, particular, uh, makes a particular careful point to link Jesus' death with the slaughter of the lambs for the Passover feast leaving no doubt in the reader's mind that Jesus is a new sort of means by which the people of God are gathered together, fed, spared, and then sent out with the encouragement to remember all of this whenever they eat bread and drink from the cup. This is the meal that Jesus shares with his disciple and tells us to do over and over again so that we remember all of these truths as well. And so we do, we gather every week around the table and across technology with households of all sizes and means to eat a meal together. A meal that signifies the gift of life that flows from a sacrifice of love. Communion is not an individual act of piety, just a box to be checked on the to-do list of faith. It is a time for the people of God to come together to declare something about themselves and about who God is. In the midst of it, God invites us into and empowers us to do God's work with our hands, that work of provision and community and relationship building. Over and over and over again, God has provided reminders for us of God's promises and dream for creation. Our Jewish siblings have Passover as one. We have communion as another. These two distinct yet linked celebrations are just a couple of those reminders, though. There are other major formal examples of how God reminds us of God's promises and what God's dream for creation is. And there are also plenty of mundane reminders throughout our everyday lives of the ways that God is working through and around us to inbreak God's kingdom into our realities right here and right now so that we all may know the provision and love of God and be able to experience all the more the eternal abundant life that Jesus' death and resurrection makes possible for us and for all of creation. My prayer this week is that we might be able to notice those more mundane reminders or find new meaning in the big formal ones so that we might ever know and be reminded because we need it over and over and over again that God is at work, working abundant life, that is provision, community, and protection through you for others and through others for you. God is work at work among us. God is gathering us together so that we might declare something about who we are and who God is. God is inviting us into and empowering us to do God's work with our hands, to be servants to all people, so that all might know the provision, the protection, and the love, the community that God provides. It's God's work with our hands. I pray that we might notice all of those places 
that God is working. Amen. I invite you to stand as you are able as we sing together our song of the day, which comes from the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal number 370. Jesus With the whole church, let us confess our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the, On the third day, day he rose again. again. He, he ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Gathered in to get God's embrace, 
let us lift our voices on behalf of a weary and wounded world. God of love, send us out filled with your love and life. Be known in our daily living, that your love may be known through our proclamation. God, we pray, open, open our, our hands, hands in, in love. love. God of creation, remind us to be good stewards of your diverse and beautiful world. God, we pray, open, open our, our hands, hands in love. love. God of peace, fill the hearts of those who rule, govern, and lead. Give them and us compassion to guide the peoples of this world in the ways of truth, justice, equity, and peace. God, we pray, open, open our, our hands, hands in love. love. God of healing, visit those who yearn for your wholeness, especially the people of Morocco and those listed on our prayer list and those we name now aloud or silently. Travis, Josh, Anna, Bobby, Nick, Maya, Ollie. Encourage all those who bear others' burdens. Give wisdom and perseverance to all who work in healthcare professions. God, we pray, open, open our, our hands, hands in love. love. God of service, give us strength and humility in our service to those near and far, whose needs are visible or invisible. May we find you in the faces of our neighbors. God, we pray, open, open our, our hands, hands in love. love. Everlasting God, support us in this life. As we remember those who have gone before as examples of faithful living and honor those whose faith was known only to you. Inspire us to follow their examples of baptismal life until we join with them in worship. God, we pray, open, open our, our hands, hands of in love. love. Into your wounded hands of love, O oh God, we place all of our prayers. Trusting in your mercy through the crucified and risen one, Jesus. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. You. Let us share a sign of that peace with one another, both with those we are physically gathered with and across our congregation gathered on site and online. Peace to everybody joining us on Zoom, Mary, Walt, Charlotte, Jean, Mike, Jerry, Fred, Lil, Debbie, Betty, Shelly, Pat, the Kazers, Doreen, Xander, Chris, Anne, it is good to have you with us. Peace.
Each week we take time during our worship service to acknowledge that all we have, our time, talents, and treasures are gifts from God, and we can use those gifts to do God's work in the world, uh, to be about provision and protection and gathering together and building relationships. There are many ways that we strive to do that here at Grace and your financial gifts and your gifts of time and talent help us to fulfill our mission, which is to be servants to all people. We are thankful for one-time gifts and recurring gifts, ones that are put in the plate at the back of the sanctuary and those that are given online. There is a link in the Zoom chat and in our bulletin and information on our website about how you can give electronically. But keeping in, in mind all of the ways that gifts are offered and joined together to do God's work here at Grace, I invite Bob to pray our offering prayer. Please stand as you're able. Holy God, giver of all good things, receive the gifts we bring, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, that they may be used to your purposes for life and love in the world. Amen. Amen. glory and thanksgiving to you, God, our loving creator. In the beginning, you reached your hands into the earth and formed humanity in your own image. You breathed into us your own breath of love and gave us hearts and hands and voices to live your loving purpose in the world. Seen the lonely creature of earth, you created a partner that we would know the joy of community. Throughout the history of your people, you never abandoned us, but brought us into community with one another and with you and guided us through your prophets. With endless patience and love, you called us time and again to return to life with you. In the fulfillment of all things, you came to us in Jesus, born into a human family, raised in a hometown, who gathered around himself a community formed by your love, and yearned to gather all people around, under the loving wings of a mother hen. Sitting at dinner with friends and knowing one among them would break the bond of love, our Lord Jesus took the bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. 
In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying the cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this for the remembrance of me. Trusting in his promise to be among us whenever we gather in his name, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Gathered as your people, meeting in Jesus' name and preparing ourselves to feast upon Jesus' very body and blood, we plead with all creation, come, Lord Jesus. Send your spirit upon this meal, the body and blood of Jesus, that we overflow with your selfless love. Turn us to face our neighbors, that by us and through us, your love may be known in the world. Again, we beg, come Holy Spirit, all honor and praise and glory to you, God of creative dirty hands, God of holy wounded hands, God who strengthens and guides our hands now and forever. Amen. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Jesus invites you to this table. Come and live. For those of you who will be communing from your homes or from your pews, the body of Christ given for you, the blood of Christ shed for you. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb Dance. 
God who sets forth the law of love, Jesus who fulfills the law for you, and the Spirit through whom you are called to love. Bless you this day that you may be God's hands and heart and voice at work in the world. Amen. Are there any announcements for the good of the gathered? If you are on Zoom, please put a note in the chat so that we know to spotlight you. If you are in the sanctuary, come on up so we can get you on a microphone. Good morning. Good morning. Well, yesterday we started our God's Work Our Hands early when Bob and Doc and Ed and Rich all were here with nothing to do. Well, I think they figured out what they were supposed to do. But anyway, they moved azaleas that had been hidden for several years behind bushes in the front, out in the front by the uh, preschool. And they have all been moved over here under the windows. So hopefully in spring, when they bloom again, we'll get some joy out of, out of those azaleas. And I thank you guys so much for your help. Any other announcements in sanctuary? Come on up. If you have an announcement in the sanctuary, come forward. It's time to clean out your attics and clean out your garages because we're going to have a flea market October 14th and we'll be collecting the stuff in the back right behind the curtain. We don't want it on the tables. We want it right behind the curtain there. You can bring it in, start bringing it in. And the scholarship goes and we have council yeah, okay. has not yet decided they will on Tuesday where the on Tuesday go. where the money's going to go to. Yep. Yep. Okay? Yeah. So if you, that is one great way to help out is to bring stuff for the white elephant table, but you also, we need volunteers to help sign up. You can do that online, or I'm pretty sure that Millie is carrying around a paper sign up sheet today. Um, so see her. Thank you to Millie for uh, volunteering to coordinate uh, the flea market this fall. Um, and you can also, if you have so much stuff that you need to sell that you want your own space, you can register for those online. Spaces are $10 each. They are 10 by 10 spaces. Um, and that sign up is online as well, linked on the front page of our website. I think that's all of the things about the flea market. This, yes. Now everybody's remembering they have announcements to make. All right, so um, if you haven't gotten Grace greetings, um, just a reminder that uh, we as council are going to be getting together pretty soon to figure out ways to fix our financial situation. With that being said, we would like any input from the congregation. You can either talk to council members individually or you can email pastor um, and we will take those comments on board for ways to save money, make more money, figure out some ways to uh, right our financial situation so we don't have to have drives like bridge the gap all the time. Thank you very much. Thanks, David. Come on up, Faith. Just want to let everybody know, uh, Kurt and I are going to be walking in the um, Alzheimer's uh, walk to end Alzheimer's on the 23rd. If anybody would, I'm on, it's on Facebook, but if anybody would like to make a donation, we'd be much appreciated. Thanks. And they can contact you to figure out how to do that. Yes. Awesome. Thanks, Steve. That is a great example of doing God's work with your hands on the outside of these walls as well. Other announcements. Let me go through the schedule of this week if that's what, what you're about to talk about. Okay, so I'm going to hop over today and come back to that. Uh, tomorrow, Monday, we will have Bible study on Zoom at 1.30 and preschool board both on site and online at 5.30. And then... At seven tomorrow, uh, Bell Choir will resume uh, rehearsals. Um, so, of course, if anybody who would like to join Bell Choir who hasn't, um, feel free to come. Um, yeah, we'd love to see 
Anyone and everyone back. Yeah. New, old, returning, all the ringers. Uh, Tuesday, council will meet online at 7 p.m. And Wednesday, Bible study potluck at uh, 6.30 here at the church. And Bible study will begin at 7. That is on site and online. And then next Sunday starts our fall uh, Sunday schedule. So at nine o'clock, we are going to have Sunday school. That's for all ages. And then at 10 o'clock, we will have worship on site and online. For Sunday school, uh, I'll have a sign out tomorrow to point you to the classrooms, but there's more information in Grace Greetings and in the Scoop email. Um, and the adult class, which will be in the fellowship hall, will also be online, but that's the only one that will be in that hybrid on-site online model. So again, Sunday school is at nine and worship is at 10. Awesome. Okay, so to today. If you ordered bright yellow God's Work Our Hands t-shirts and not, have not yet picked them up, they are on the conference table in the office. Feel free to grab them and then put the money with the slip that is around your t-shirts on my desk. Um, that needs to, to get counted, uh, accounted through me first before it goes to the counter. So please put it on my desk. And then um, we will get to service projects right after worship. And then once those are done, we will have a uh, potluck with hot dogs. So here are your service project options. If you're joining us uh, online and you want to zip over here to get involved, feel free to do that. Um, so we have a number of service projects going on right after worship. There is a cheat sheet board in the Narthex with all of the different projects. So the first one, if you want to get outside, you can uh, weed, or um, if you brought supplies, trim bushes. I, I believe that the cross mound is in some need of weeding. So if that's your, your joy, go on out there, go to town. On the table in the Narthex, really easy uh, way to get involved is to sign or, or decorate the quote unquote cards they're just big sheets of paper uh, to make that big impact. These are for members who are deployed or were deployed um, and just came home or are away at college or otherwise separated from us. So there are five cards out there. So be uh, sure to sign and decorate those so that we can share God's love with those members that are not able to uh, be with us for the next uh, little bit. You can join Sandra in the kitchen uh, to make communion bread. You can come behind the altar on the bell tables and pack blessing bags. We have 52 blessing bags to pack. Um, and in case you've never packed a blessing bag, start at this side, start at the boat, and then follow the signs of how many of each item to put in. And I'm gonna move this box while I'm talking. There's a big box here that you can just put them in. Normally I would invite you to take one or two with you, but these are special uh, winter blessing bags. Uh, they're made for to be hot breakfast. Uh, they include oatmeal packets and instant coffees. So I would encourage you not to take them quite yet. Let's let the weather cool down a little bit. Um, and then we'll put those out so that uh, those who are experiencing homelessness in our community can have a hot breakfast. In classroom number one, so if you go out of the sanctuary and turn left and go straight into the education wing, you will run into classroom number one. We are going to be packing 425 teacher appreciation staff survival kits. These are for four local schools. Um, so it's just like the blessing bags, start at the plastic sandwich bag and follow the signs down the line. That one's a little more complicated. At the end, we need to divide them into boxes. And on the boxes are the numbers of how many we need per school. I trust y'all can figure out how to make sure that we get the right number in the boxes. And if you need more boxes, I will find some. 
you can join Rodney in the fellowship hall to pack bags for the food pantry to distribute. Uh, this is a, something that they do every week behind the scenes. This is your chance to get involved. Those of you who aren't able to be with us on Mondays. Um, so Rodney will lead that in the back of the fellowship hall right after worship. There's also books to put labels on for the book ministry. There are buttons to sew on walker bags as part of the threaders ministry. I think that's it. That was anticlimactic. I should have changed my tone one earlier. But so you have, you have eight projects to choose from. You can flitter from one to another, get involved um, however you are feeling called today. Um, if you're looking for more sit down project, I would send you to uh, the buttons and the books, um, but there's lots of other packing and baking to do. Or if you're an artist, make something beautiful out of those out of those signs by the double glass doors. Clear as mud. Yeah. Awesome. I'll be uh, walking around taking pictures. So if you have questions, let me know. Um, but before we get out of here, I'm going to attempt to get a group picture. So if y'all will stand up and like fill the aisle spread out so you can be seen. I'm gonna try, see if this works. So we want to be the, the full width. If, if you're on the back, move towards the windows. If you're in the back, move towards the wall. Morgan, if you want to move in right there. Okay, oh. And I'm changing the, the video. No, go back to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the screen to the gallery. So everybody on Zoom, you are part of this picture. So smile. Okay, one, two, three. Taking a couple, awesome, thank you. Any last minute, oh, by the ways, other announcements? I'm gonna give you all a little clue that our dismissal is not as short and straightforward as normal. So you might wanna be there in your bulletin. Even lifelong Lutherans might have to look at this one. <laughs> So please stand as you are able for our sending song, which comes from the hymnal supplement, All Creation Things, 1000, God's Work, Our Hands. Washed and set free, humble. 
We are called to proclaim the good news. God, God is at work. The good news is not left in some history long ago or a place far away. God, God is, is at work in the world still today. In us and through us, God is glorified in our work. When we offer a helping hand, God is praised. When we share of our abundance, God is known in the world. God, God is, is at work in us. us. In our service today, in our daily lives, let us live out what God has called us to in baptism. God, God is at work through our hands. hands. Go in peace. You are God's hands at work in the world. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. 